This data sufficiency question appeared in Tansert 2014 MBA. Question number 67. This is a medium level difficulty question. There are concepts. Geometry is learned. Right triangles is a concept that is tested. If point X is directly north of point Y and directly west of point Z, what is the distance from point X to point Z? Statement 1. The distance from y to z is 20 centimeters. The distance from x to y is equal to half the distance from y to z. This is statement number 2. Pika, let's check out when the data is sufficient. Is the question? The question is basically distance from point x to point y. So, when we find our answer, it should be the distance from point x to y is 14 centimeters. It's 28 centimeters. This is the number. A number followed by a unit of distance. In the case, it's going to be centimeters because statement 1 they've given some information in terms of centimeters. When is the data sufficient? As usual, the data is sufficient if I'm able to come up with a unique answer for the value of the distance between points x and z. Right. Let's quickly run into the statements and see what data we have. Statement 1 alone, let's have a look at it. One line the distance from y to z is 20 centimeters. Right. Now, we have to do this. First, we have to do this. Point x is directly north of point y. North is the same. South is the same. Right. So, moving north is basically moving up is moving north. Moving south is basically moving down. So, directly north is the same. And very east is moving towards right. This is moving towards east. West is moving towards left. So, in the clarity, point X is directly north of point Y. So, Y is north of X directly north of point Y is where point X is. Now, let's look at the second part of it. X is directly west of Z. So, X is West of Z, Z ingerikana, Z ik west lavande x irkana. That's how the statement, second part of it means. So, this is where Z is going to be. So, Y, X, Z pathona, in the other, because it's directly north and directly west, in the angle vande is going to be a 90 degree angle. And therefore, if I join this Y and Z, what we are going to get out of this is a right angle triangle. X, Y, Z is a right angle triangle right angled at x. So, this is what we have from the question stem. Either order, let's inform, add this information from statement 1. y to z are length is 20 centimeters. We need to find out the length between x and z. Either we will not be able to find this information unless we know the distance between x and y. So, x and y are distance from y z are distance from y. So, we will not be able to find the answer from x to z from this data. So, statement 1 is not sufficient to find the answer. As usual, statement 1 sufficient we will eliminate answer choices 1 and 4. So, we are down to answer choices 2, 3 or 5. This is Now, let us look at statement 2 alone. Statement 2 is statement 2 la the distance from x to y is equal to half the distance from y to z. This is what we have. x, y, z is basically forming a right triangle. Right angle at x. So, x to y distance is going to be half the distance from y to z. So, this is k units. This is half of k. So, that is what x to y is going to be. x to y is half the distance from y to z. The k vandu noora arundha, half k 50 arundhu. k vandu ayaram arundhu yana, half k vandu ayinoor arundhu. Adhi ketha apla, in the answer marite arundhu. We will not be able to find a unique answer for the value of x to z, which is what we need to find out. So, statement 2 is also not sufficient to find the answer. Yerkhan we have eliminated choices 1 and 4, 1 sufficient ala yana. If statement 2 is also not sufficient na, we can eliminate answer choice 2 also. What are we left with? Neither and answer choice. Huh? It's either 3 or 5. 3 or 5 on every decide. We'll combine the two statements and check out. If the data is sufficient, 
then the answer choice is 3 adukapramo we are not been able to find the answer na then the answer choice is going to be 5 let's combine the information given in the two statements and then check out what do we have from the two statements from statement 1 we know the distance from y to z is 20 cm and from statement 2 we know that the distance from x to y is equal to half the distance from y to z we'll go to our diagram it's right angled at x so this is a right angle triangle statement 1 learn the, we know y to z is going to be equal to 20 cm statement 2 learn the, x y is the arukna, which means this is going to be equal to 10 namma kandupidikka vendiyadhu vande x z y z is a hypotenuse of the right triangle x y is one of the perpendicular sides namma x z evlo one kandupidikkanum so x z is equal to pythagoras theorem apply pannona so hypotenuse square hypotenuse square is 20 square and one of the perpendicular sides x y out of square root which is equal to 10 square so the value of x z is equal to square root of 20 square is 400 minus 10 square which is equal to 100 this is equal to root 300 so have you been able to find out a unique answer yes we got a unique answer how did we get the unique answer by combining the two statements so the two statements together are sufficient to answer the question and the statement is say the answer here we said the answer choices could be either 3 or 5. That's why we have to answer the answer. Panna jade, so which means that data is insufficient. We can eliminate answer choice 5. Choice 3 is the correct answer. Ascent Education conducts classes for Tansert at Chennai. Tansert toppers, Anna University MBA graduates, even the tutors are coming. Visit us at tansert.ascenteducation.com for more information. More Tansert papers, questions, solutions, visit this URL. You can reach Ascent Education on this phone number 9600-48484. Free Tansert videos in the Marivanana. Subscribe to our YouTube channel youtube.com slash user slash Tansert MBA.